you today? Good, good. Good. All right, you, you guys. Feeling, you are have... you feeling better, Barb? Yes, I feel way better, but I think Jesse has it now. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, every everybody shares. It seems like. <laughs> I just hope the babies don't get it. Yeah. So we're going to start off with our stick. Move some things up. Make it feel better. Go around. Doing well today? Good. All right, I'm switching directions. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let's get some leg swings. Hold on to something if needed. Be aggressive. Get it stretched out. Two more. And switch. Two. All right. So you're going to go down to the ground onto your hands and knees. Right hand goes behind the ear. Take the right elbow and go to the left hand. And then rotate to the ceiling and exhale as you rotate and then reach. Okay. So elbow to opposite hand, rotate, exhale, and then reach. I'm going to get three more. Down, exhale, reach, down, exhale, and reach. We have one more on this side. Good rotation down, feel the stretch, exhale, reach. All right, switch sides. Rotate down. Make sure you exhale as you rotate up and reach. Good job. Back down. Reach. Back down, number three, exhale, reach, two more, down, reach, one more. Alright, so you're going to get into a deadlift position so put your hands on your quads hinge over back is flat chest is forward shoulders to hips feel the stretch in the back of your legs chin is tucked come up squeeze your bottom we're doing 10. two three Chest is forward, back is flat, everything's engaged. Four. Five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Okay, so welcome back to Monday. If you haven't been working out, this should just fit right in. If you have been working out, well, I want you to push yourself a little bit harder, <laughs> okay? So you have your 10 minute block. We are gonna do two movements. So bird dog lateral lift, push through the heel, shoulders to hips, either a band or a dumbbell and laterally lift. You're doing anywhere from eight to 15 reps, okay? Eight to 15 reps. Then you're doing any style of a deadlift, okay? So, any, hi Linda, any style of a deadlift. So it can be sumo, squat, hinge, straight leg, stiff, you decide. So those are the only two movements for 10 minutes. Eight to 15 reps each, 10 minutes on the timer. Any questions? Thank you for your gift. I'm sorry? Thank you for your gift. Oh, you're so welcome. Absolutely. Absolutely. Gotta love that foam roller. <laughs> Five okay for this? Yep, your lateral lift, five pounds. Yeah, that's fine. Um, for your deadlift, you need to go to the blue one, the 50. Oh, okay. Merry Christmas! <laughs> All right. So, 10 minutes on the timer. We are going to 42 on the clock. Okay? When you're ready. When you're ready, you're gonna start. Oh, I thought, okay, I was waiting for go. Oh, <laughs> nope, you're good, you're good. Are we switching sides or? One nope, full? eight to 15 reps on one side, so keep the leg out and get your bird dog lateral lift, okay? Eight to 15 reps, and then you're doing any style of your deadlift, okay? Remember, back is flat, chest is forward, belly button to spine. You're not holding your breath. Trying to get everything to be locked in. Yep, any style deadlift, 8 to 15 reps. Yep, looks good. Movement looks really good, ladies. Great job. Just 
working through total of 10 minutes, two movements, eight to 15 reps each. Just recognize on your deadlift, your neck is neutral. Megan's happy to be here today. Five minutes left. You're halfway. Good job, way to keep the neck neutral. Shoulders locked in. Should be feeling your whole body.
Good lips look good, Lisa. Oh, thanks. Good job, Juanita, on your bird dog. Thank you. Good squeeze on the glute, Tammy. I like it. Looks good, Linda. Good job, Teresa. Nice deadlift, Ashley. Everything's locked in. Yep. Good deadlift, Lori. And Barb and Jan, I'm sure you look great. <laughs> Just can't see ya. It's all good. into our next circuit. How much time left? All right. Next circuit. Same thing. Total of 10 minutes. 8 to 15 reps. But your new movements are Side to side lunge. You can also do an ice skater if you would like, or a curtsy. Okay. Cardiovascular, anything that's gonna elevate your heart rate. You can slam, jog, jump rope, anything that elevates your heart rate. You don't have to jump around. You can do burpees without jumping even, okay? And then a face up ab, dead bug, reverse plank, reverse crunch if you want, some type of sit up, butterfly, uh, Russian twist, anything that's sitting face up ab. So eight to 15 reps, three new movements, total of 10 minutes. See how many rounds you can get in, okay? Questions? Okay, no questions. Beautiful. All right, so we have until five till, which is going to actually give us 11 minutes. And then we're stretching. So three, two, one, go. Side to side lunge, curtsy, ice skater, you decide. Just make sure that you're pushing your hips back. Eight to 15 reps. Then you go on to any cardio, elevation of heart rate, you pick it. Face up ab.
like all the variety. Good job. Those are good, Lori. your lats on that slam. Struggling with the jump rope today. <laughs> I obviously need to do something else. So no matter what you've chosen to do, shoulders are down, you're breathing. Just think posture, quality movement. like the uh, curtsy lunge. <laughs> Good job. I love seeing all the different things you guys pick.
Good job. In through the nose, deep into the belly, exhale through the mouth. Good job, Ashley. She's got her gate swings with the tap. Going. Plugging away. You can do this. No holding your breath. Two minutes left. Two whole minutes. One minute, 10 seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten. Time. <laughs> Good job. We have five minutes left. If you can stick around for some stretching, that's what we're doing. We're gonna go into a half kneeling position. I want you to feel like you tuck your tailbone under, feel that hip flexor. Now squeeze your bottom. 
Relax your shoulders. See you tomorrow, Laura. Bye, Linda. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Good job. Bye, guys. See you in a couple days. Bye, Bye. Barb. Bye. Thank you. All right. Same positioning, but now you're going forward more. Same side, I should say. So I have my right leg going back. My left is forward. My right hand is going to go down to the floor. And I'm going to rotate my left to the ceiling. Take three good deep breaths in through the nose, deep into the belly, exhale through the mouth. Try to look and turn your head. All right, we're switching. My left comes forward. I'm gonna tuck that tailbone under. Squeeze your glute. Should feel a good stretch in that hip flexor, right where the leg bends. Putting further out, stretching further. In just a minute, my left hand is going to go to the floor, and I'm going to rotate my right to the ceiling and exhale and look at the ceiling. All right, left hand to the floor. Good deep breath in through the nose, fill the belly, exhale and rotate. Turn your head as far as you can get it. Once you have your three good deep breaths, you're coming back. You're going to stand up. I'm going to take my right hand, put it on the left shoulder, grab the back, and push like I'm reaching behind me. Relax your shoulders. If you want the arm to be straight, you can straighten your arm. It's up to you. The key is that you relax the shoulders. Okay, same side, I'm gonna put my hand on the shoulder and now I'm gonna lift with the opposite arm. I'm not using my right for any strength. It's only my left pushing the arm up. Okay, last one on the other side. So push back first, drop the left shoulder, relax. Just feel everything behind your shoulder, that rear delt stretching out, lengthening. goes on the shoulder, push up with the right hand, go as far as you can, come back down. So you're pushing and pulling with your right. The left is completely relaxed. Good job. Happy Monday.
thank you, have a good day.